Adam and Cherie. Still plenty of snow around here in Epping from Tuesday's storm, but the big issue is here behind me. I'll step out of the way so we can zoom in. If you look down this trail, you'll see there are patches of the ground that are exposed, and that's really what's causing these problems. New Hampshire Fish and Game says they reported to several accidents this weekend. They say they had four uh, that they responded to yesterday alone, some with serious injuries reported. Now, Fish and Game says, you know, we may be a lot of snow and it may be cold, but this snow is melting fast and that is exposing debris along the trails such as rocks and branches and that's kind of what's causing these accidents. They say if you have to make it out, you want to be alert and make sure you know what you're riding on. I take it easy. I mean, realize your conditions, um, you know, or, or what's what the conditions are as you get out there. Um, like I said, it's it's varied just with the temperatures change from from the day to the evening and the freezing temperatures at night. It's it's going to change. It's not going to be the same, you know, as it was the day before. And this warning also going for the ice as well. They say, of course, as things start to warm up, the ice on lakes and ponds throughout the region will start thinning out. And they say the best bet is just to remain off of it altogether. We're live here in Epping. I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.